Police in South Portland believe they stopped what could have been some sort of large scale attack somewhere in the city when they raided a home in a quiet neighborhood last night. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill and I'm Brian Yukono. We know the Cumberland County District Attorney, the FBI and local police were all looking into a teenager who was at the center of that arrest. We're also learning multiple high power firearms were taken from that home. News Center Maine's Jack Moment is tracking the stories live tonight in the neighborhood where that all happened with the latest. Hi, Jack. Hey, Brian and Amanda, I spoke with the South, the South Portland chief of police who said that the arrest that took place here on Elm Street yesterday could have saved them from a tragedy from taking place. Now, they're not releasing the name of the teenager at this moment as he is still a juvenile. But what we do know is that he is a student at South Portland High School and that what tipped off this investigation in the first place was a tip to the school resource officer. Now, neighbors say that the teenager was living with his dad and his dad was arrested as well kind of strange because you see people come and go. Jim Green has lived off Elm Street for 65 years and says it, it was the strangest thing I've seen happen here. A police raid Wednesday afternoon. The FBI along with several agencies placing two males under arrest and neighbors tell us they are father and son. My granddaughters are out in the yard. My wife come out. She goes, what is going on? It was like he was watching something on TV. The real focus is on the teenager who's a student at South Portland High School. But students we spoke with said he hadn't been to classes for some time and law enforcement is not releasing his name. This investigation started with our school resource officer developing information and uh, we shared that information with the FBI who had additional information. South Portland Police Chief Dana Hearn says that preliminary investigation likely saved them from disaster. We were able to develop an immediate plan and we believe that plan averted uh, a very likely uh, tragedy here in the community. What kind of tragedy? Several high powered rifles. We took a lot of evidence from the juvenile's uh, bedroom, from a car, notes, uh, phones. As for the teenager, he's in custody awaiting a first court appearance and he's already facing counts of theft, arson, and criminal mischief. But much more serious charges could be coming. As for the man neighbors say is his father, Chief Ahern says he tried to stop officers from arresting his son and ended up in cuffs as well. He's being charged with obstructing an arrest. And now that the streets are clear in South Portland and the black and white house where the guns were found sits empty, Neighbors are still trying to understand what happened to their quiet neighborhood. Everybody's coming to see what's going on, and I'm like, this ain't good, you know? This ain't good. A lot of good people live here, but it only takes one bad apple. Yeah, and all those neighbors that I spoke to in the process of today tell me that the man and the teenager have always been friendly to other neighbors. Now, we wanted to talk to the Cumberland County District Attorney along with the FBI that was involved in that arrest yesterday, and they said since that teenager is a juvenile, they will not be commenting further on this case. All right, Jack Molmid live in South Portland tonight. Thank you, Jack.